auto meter install. All right, so I was gonna go with Dakota Digital. Waited for months and months, and then they came back. Vendor came back and said they still don't know. So canceled that order, and I bought all these auto meter gauges for less than Dakota Digital. So they need to hire some more people or something. Anyway, so this was the original housing for the Speedo and the TAC factory stuff there. So I took it to the bandsaw and cut that off right about there. Um, and so I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Hold on a second. Intermission. That'll sit in there kind of like that. And then um, I did some carbon fiber work on that. So got some more of this stuff here. And I'll cover all that up and make it nice. And then I wanted to reuse the center cluster over these. I think they're two and a sixteenth. They almost fit. Almost. So I'm going to open all those up and that way I can put it back in the center console. Oh yeah, I got to return this water one because I didn't think at the time it's uh, mechanical but the part that goes into the head is way too big to have a smaller sensor kind of like this 1-8 pipe and that's for this guy here well so it's got um, that's another thing got all these warning sets you can put on has a little light on there so I got that for that and the volts so you have all these things with Warning lights on them. That's pretty cool. And they got recalled to see how you revved it when the engine blew up. <laughs> Alrighty. That's where we're at for now. Keep you updated. Well, nothing can really just fall into place. So, <clears throat> that's not going to work. Alright. Plan B. Cut all this out. Make a plate like this. Dang it. All right. Wiring. So much fun. Got out my very spindy Deutsch crimper. Made a uh, Deutsch connector for all of that. And then uh, covered that aluminum plate. So we got left turn, right turn, high beam. And then, uh, oh yeah, this is going to go in the 700R4. It's a, it's a Hall Effect sensor, so this turns and gives a signal for this electronic um, Speedo. Alright, made up a harness for the Speedo mechanical to electrical Hall Effect sensor. Um, using this Tiefzil aircraft wire. It's pretty good stuff. And that'll go up where the tranny has got this guy installed. That guy will go back in there where uh, the Speedo cable originally hooked in. Well, we had a pretty good storm. It's about 30 degrees out. Not too bad. Let's come into the shop and do some Corvette work. It's definitely a Corvette indoor day, not an outdoor day. See how the shop did as far as temperature wise. Lights, camera, action. Let's see what the temperature stayed. With no heat, 50 degrees. Right on. Let's bring that up a little bit. I got another video when I put that Resnor heater in got running on propane works really good so got these hooked up yesterday and they actually work I just need to calibrate the speedo I guess you do a two-mile drive to calibrate that and this $400 power master alternator failed on me after two or three hours it's got a 5 amp draw killed my battery dang it <clears throat> so what I did with this guy, 
cut a hole out. I got a mess here. Holy cow. Cut that out. Cut out this to go in here. And then I'll put four gauges. And I don't know if, if I'm putting these in somewhere separate or whatever. I'll figure that out. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, there we are roughed in for that plate. One thing I just discovered, dang it, is the fitting here for the head is 12 millimeter 1.5. And I don't have the adapter, so I've got to order the adapter for that to go to this right here pipe, 1 8 pipe. All right, put some carbon fiber on it and see what she looks like. Okay, lots of chopping and stuff on this guy. Yeah. What we gotta use to hold that. All right. All right. Organizing some wires here. We got three signal wire for the oil pressure, uh, two signal wire for the water temp, one for the fuel gauge sender. We got power for everything to include the round cigarette lighter and dual USB. And I'll plug in some radio stuff too. And so I'm going to do two connectors. We'll have a six <clears throat> Deutsch and a three pin. All right. I think it's going to work. These are pretty cool. Got to have one of these to. Got one of these to charge phones. Got one of these for the radar detector. So. I to put it there where it's nice and handy. All right, we got Deutsch here. So now for the car side. Well, things can't always go as smoothly as you like. Um, I forgot one wire that is for um, your lights. So I get to tear that all apart and do some more wiring back there. Dang it. Okay, now the trick is to get that into there. Put those pins up on top and out. Yeah, right. Uh, we'll see. I haven't been showing all the labor because it's not really that much fun. And it's kind of like this. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Ah, get. Ah, motherfuck. Some bitch. Ah. Ah. Anyway, that's what Vintage Air install is like, okay. Alright, I'm calling it good. And that light's on because my alternator failed, I gotta get a new one. But, I'm calling it good. <laughs> 